Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm April May Walston and today I'm going to show you how I painted this cute little monkey rock. So stay tuned. So to start off with, I painted the rock a mixture of phthalo blue and phthalo green. I'm sorry. I've tried to record this a couple of times and... Harley was being really quiet at that time, but the dogs were barking because the cows have moved up into the yard and one of my cows does not like one of my dogs and they have kind of a hate-hate relationship. So there's always a battle whenever they get in the same area. So I had to deal with that earlier and now that I got that settled down, <laughs> now Harley is going to start talking. So we're just going to try to tune her out. I do apologize. I know she can be a little bit distracting. So um, I, like I said, I painted my rock, which I'm obviously going to hide this portion from you for some reason, but I used phthalo blue and phthalo green for the aqua color. And then I painted the sides a little bit darker by adding black to the mixture. Now I'm going back in and cleaning up. I want the top to be a little bit lighter. So I'm just kind of cleaning up that edge. And this would be easier if you had like one of those little craft turntables or a Lazy Susan. But I'm just kind of eyeballing it and hoping that it comes out somewhat even. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Now here comes the cat. Sorry. <laughs> She's gonna... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is what happens when you have too many animals, which we have a lot. Let's get down from here. Okay, you go on. Sorry. Okay, so... I'm now taking... A mixture I've added black to my mixture again but I didn't mix it up so the black is still kind of modeled through there and I'm just dragging it down the sides to add some interest and you got just a glimpse of it there it creates kind of a there you go some stripes down the side So now once you paint the rock, the charcoal pencil does not stand out, does not work on it. No, 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 you stay, you stay off my table. Sorry, cat is back again. So you can see it's hard for me to get the charcoal pencil to show up on the, the painted surface and get it a little bit, but at this point, a uh, pencil works better. So I'm just drawing out my design. And I'm using the Createx Black for my outline. And this is a really simple uh, design to hand draw, but if you do want the traceable, it is available on my Patreon page. The link is listed below, uh, and it is free to uh, anyone who would like to use it. You do not have to ha be a member of my Patreon community or a subscriber. Yeah. 
you know, I thought I had outlined it. I think I'm actually just using brown hair. It's been a couple of weeks since I painted this rock. So then I have to remember how I did things. And I, I don't always, I'm not always consistent with the way I do things. I use different techniques at different times. So all of my supplies that I used to paint my rocks, it's always down in the description below. If you don't know how to access that information, I will have a little video pop up that kind of shows you how, uh, how to get to that information. Now we're just painting in his little feet with just a mixture of this is burnt umber and white or you could use some unbleached titanium white would also uh, is also about the same color. And you don't have to use the co same colors I use. You can use whatever you have. You can make him purple okay. it, and he would look perfect. Now I'm drawing in his tail. And this is the triple ot, or th it's three zeros in a row, which is a triple ot holotap detailed brush. And for this one, I just decided to color in all of the sections that are brown. Even though if you if you look to the right, you can see what the finished rock is going to look like. And I just paint over, like in the ears, I just paint the pink over the brown. You could do that, or you could leave those areas uh, unpainted until you get to that state. But I'm just going to layer the pink over the brown. And I did just little hearts for the eyes and a heart for the nose. And here I am using my black uh, Createx airbrush paint for the for outlining the bow and doing the eyes and outlining the nose. Like I said, this rock's pretty easy because there's no shading or anything. These are just all solid colors. Uh, well, I take that back. There is a little bit of shading underneath his body because I'm going to have it where it looks like he's sitting on kind of some grass. Or she. I guess it's a girl. <laughs> she is sitting on some grass.
and her arms, it's kind of hard to tell, but her arms are tucked down behind her. And do the lighting, and her being such a dark brown, it's hard to tell uh, where her arms are. But they're there. They're just behind her. So now I'm trapping in the whole design with black. And again, this is my black Createx airbrush paint. So, now here's where, this is the only shading that's on the rock. I just thinned down some hooker's green and painted it underneath her body so she was actually sitting on something. So now I'm going in and putting in dots along the edge of the rock. And I'm going to do little flowers, little five petal flowers. I'm just using my paintbrush, but you could use uh, oh those dotting tools, like a nail dotting tool. I normally just paint my backgrounds, leave my backgrounds black, but I've decided that I would try to kind of add some more interest to these rocks and show you like what I would do kind of to frame in the characters. Yeah. So now I'm going in and just doing some swirls and just random spots. And we are just about done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.